Now for packing away the tent. So the first thing that we need to do is reverse everything that we did earlier. So we need to start by taking out the inner part and then pack, putting it aside before we take down the outer. The best thing to do is to take out the inner, roll it all, um, roll it all up ready. We can't pack it away because we need the poles, okay? But we can pack it, uh, fold it up, uh, ready for um, ready for the fold away properly. So the first thing we're going to do is undo all of these little loops. Okay, just around the outside. So again, start from the front. I didn't do the backs before because it was just uh, a case of chucking it up quickly so that you could see. You understood the basic principle, so I'm sure you'll understand what I mean. So then you're going to undo these little clips and you need to undo all four in each corner before you start yanking anything. And then once you've done all four, and you've undone all of the clips that go up around the side, you'll then simply be able to pull the tent right the way out. One of the hardest things about packing away the tent is being able to fold it up into a small enough size so that you can get it back into the bag. There's actually a very, very easy way of doing this, but a lot of students just roll it all up, chuck it all in, and then battle with the bag, and it never, ever works out. The first thing you need to do is pay attention to detail so when i say that you need to lie it flat i mean perfectly flat with no creases at all so the best way that we're going to do that if you look here the material folds over the side so i'm even going to lie it out perfect okay even this tiny little corner here i'm not going to be lazy you can see the materials overhanging on the edge here so i'm going to make sure the material comes on the inside Okay, so now we've got a perfect square. We want to work with that square, so we're going to fold this over, okay, to make the square. I always walk backwards, and what we're gonna do is fold it at the seam, at the joint. So I'm gonna lift up here, fold it at the joint, lay it flat, and again, I'm gonna go around and just make sure that it's all perfectly flat and not have any um, folds or anything like that anywhere that we don't need any folds the material builds up and then as you're rolling it the material goes wider and wider and wider and then you can't get it into the bag working in pairs you have one person sat each side of the tent I don't have a pair I can do it on my own but it's much easier if you just do it together so what you're gonna do is together you're going to take the one side and you're going to bring the side into the middle Okay, so it looks like this. I'll very quickly run over and do the same of what my partner would do. And again, look at this fold. We pay attention to detail. We make sure it's all nice and flat. We make sure it's in the middle as it should be. And then what we're gonna do is the same the other side. So we're gonna take it to just over that material, just over here. Okay, this way. Let's lose this crease in the middle. Okay, that's the way it should be. And then what we're gonna do is we're then going to take it all the way over. So from this side here, it's gonna go in the middle and right the way over to the side. Okay, and then what we've done is we've got the correct width that we need for the bag. If I go over and collect the bag now, remember I put it all away early on, I kept it all in here nice and safe. Make sure I've got the right one, inner tent. Okay, if I get that bag, you'll see that there is more than enough now um, bag that's left over each side of the tent for it to be rolled up inside. Okay, I want to keep those safe. And I'm just going to move that out of the way for a second and we're just going to leave that as it is. That's now ready. Okay, we can't roll it up because the poles have got to go in it and we've got to get the poles out first. So let's move on to that. We need to make sure that all doors, and that includes on the inner, are all zipped up. So I'm going to undo this first, drop that down, I'm going to zip up both sides. Okay, I'm going to make sure that all of those are done up nice and neat, okay? And then I'm going to start reversing what we did earlier. So I'm going to unclip all of these, and the best way to do that is if you just put your finger here on that ledge, and then just fold away, and it'll come off. And you do that all the way around, first thing you need to do. Next thing we can do is start taking out the pegs. 
if they're out like this simply putting your finger underneath and pulling it out is perfectly fine if you put it in deep use a peg to go underneath the other peg and then you can use both hands to pull it out okay and that will help you uh, pull out the peg instead of wrecking your fingers trying to pull them out so I'm going to take out the pegs and I'm going to keep them in my hands as I go round the tent will start to fall inwards after a point that's not a problem in fact we should probably encourage that okay keep it flat to stop the wind from blowing it away so you'll see here look I'm not this one in too low so I'm going to put this peg in here I'm going to pull up with both hands and out it comes nice and easy okay take this peg out two more and now from here our tent standing up by only by happy coincidence okay it should drop to the floor I'm not going to do anything else until I put my pegs away because I've got to make sure that we look after them pegs bag I'll put over here so I'm going to put all of those away I'm going to zip that up okay and I'm going to make sure that stays safe so then what I'm going to do is over here I'm going to go to the first pole which is this one here I'm going to undo it and as soon as you undo it, it's going to fling out to the side so be careful and ready okay and then let it go loose okay as soon as it starts going loose you can start lying the tent out flat again okay so just undo the next one take it out and remember it's going to go flinging out to the side so be careful and then the final one pull out and that's nice and flat again so at this point if you're struggling to see you can lie it all out flat and you can see your three clear sections again please remember what i said earlier if you pull now and try and pull the pole towards you you're just going to end up breaking in the middle the elastic's going to get caught up in the material it's going to cause you an absolute nightmare so what we do is we're simply going to push we're going to pull this material and we're going to push the pole so i'm going to grab material i can feel the pole push the pole pull the material grab the material push the pole and then eventually the pole will come out okay i'll just pop that over to the side for now and i'm going to do that all three times push the pole pull the material push the pole pull the material one final time push pull the material like so so the poles go away in the exact reverse simply unlift the first one fold it over lift and just keep for unfolding this way doesn't take long at all as soon as you've done that we can then do the same with all three and again with a couple of you working on this one can be working on the um, peg uh, on the poles one can be starting to fold that away one can be getting the bags ready so it takes no time at all once you've done that you grab all of the poles remember that tent will be weighted down now you won't have left it because the wind will be flying all over the place you put your rucksack on top of it you can put it back underneath that sack you can do whatever you want just don't leave it flying around let's go and get hold of the poles bag pop our poles inside pull the cord and then just fold the end underneath and as you'll see a good way to check is the width of the pole bag will be the width of the um the tent so all i'm going to do is fold roll it over making sure that my hands move from the center to the outer parts if i just roll like this all the air builds up okay and it's uh, and it's no good so keep it tight keep your hands tight make sure all the air stays out this is probably the easier section to um fold as you can see as i'm as i'm moving it this part of the tent moves over you've got to make sure that it stays okay centered and then it, look at it disappearing off to the side here and you can see the whole thing moving so like every now and again straighten it up okay don't let any of that air come inside here see there you can quite see it's nice and compressed when you get to the end air builds up if you go fast the air shoots out and comes into your roll so get to the end and go nice and gentle putting all your weight onto it to push the air out gently okay and then pick it up inside the bag 
and as you can see then the way I've rolled it there's plenty of room there inside the bag so you shouldn't be battling with it it should just glide right in these are waterproof bags so what we do is we start by doing a one roll we push the air out of the bag and then we roll it over a couple of times at the top and then they clip together there okay and then you end up with a waterproof tent okay so that's the one half this is the slightly more difficult half but the principles are the same when you're folding it away we put it down face up the problem you've got is it's a 3d shape so trying to lie a 3d shape flat doesn't work so what we need to do, and the question that I always ask students, is how can we get our 3D shape flat? And the answer is to fold it through the longest edge, okay? So, get rid of all the loose bits of uh, leaf. So what we're gonna do is I've got the, uh, the back, the front here, sorry. So I'm gonna fold over and I can see every end, every seam goes to its equal side. And in a moment, you'll see how my shape takes form once I've uh, sorted out the material. So I've just taken the two ends and then again as before, I'm gonna tidy it up because we can't have any loose material. If we do, it won't fold properly. So now you can see the clear shape of the tent of how it was okay but i've just folded it in half so it's now a completely flat piece of material so now what we've got to do is turn this into a rectangle so i'm going to fold each end at the first seam same as i did before so i'm going to grab hold of it I'm going to walk back there's my first seam so i'm going to fold it down again straighten up that material make sure it's all nice and neat because trust me if anything's going to bulk up it's going to be this tent this part of the tent rather. So there's my first seam, I can see it. So I'm gonna fold at that first seam there. And then I'm gonna straighten up this bit of the material. You can probably see how bulky that is. Okay, and we've got our rectangle. Doing exactly the same as we did before. One end into the middle. So if I take my end into the middle, my partner would do the same. Okay, take that straight over into the middle. And then we take this end just over, just crossing over a little bit. Okay, making it nice and neat so that the material's flat. And then finally, we go all the way over. So it's all the way over here. And again, you can probably see the amount of air that's building up in this already, okay? And if you look in and remember the width of the inner, it's probably about the same width there. So you can make sure that you're getting the same measurements. So the pegs go with the outer. So we're going to do exactly the same. Fold the pegs up. We're going to start at the top. Every single loose bit of material is just going to go on the inside. And we're just going to roll up. And more importantly than anywhere else, making sure no air gets inside our hands. No air at all from the middle to the sides. Okay, need to make sure that material doesn't disappear off. There you go, so this is gonna go in the middle there, so get that bit of rope out of the way. You can probably see this is bulking up much quicker and you can see that the air is also building up in the end. So if I go quick now, all this air is gonna shoot inside this. So you're gonna do it slowly and you're gonna push your weight down and what's gonna happen is the air is gonna come out through the material instead. So I'm gonna do it nice and slow, keep it tight, Good. take my time. Okay. Like so. And then once you've got it, you can take out your bag, which we kept away for safekeeping. It won't go in as easy as the inner, but you can still see plenty of space, so you shouldn't be fighting it. And if you are fighting it, you've not kept it tight enough as you've been rolling. Okay, and it'll just drop straight into the bag. Same principles as before. Okay, what you're gonna do is 
push the air out, fold it over three or four times, and then just put the clips together. Finally, this will go in your rucksack, and as soon as you're ready to hand it back in, that's exactly how I expect it to be folded, and then it's just put back inside the big bag, and returned to the person that has signed it out. The one thing I need to stress to you before we finish is when you are away camping, your tent will probably be wet, whether that's from rain or whether that's from condensation or dew or whether it's from your breath inside the tent as it's sort of got wet on, uh, on the inside. When you get home, you need to dry out your tent yourself. It's your responsibility. Any tent that's returned wet will be checked who the, uh, who the owner of it is. The problem with a wet tent, if it's stored away, is mould grows on it and the mould sinks into the material. And if you get mould inside the tent, then it stains the tent and it's wrote off. It ends up going in the bin. The tents cost about £200 each and the person that's hired that tent will be responsible for its replacement if you have neglected to uh, make sure it's dried properly before being returned. As long as you follow those quite simple and um, sort of straightforward steps, nothing will go wrong. Thanks very much.